Hello and welcome to another episode of 7 Days of Science. I'm Ben, Doug is not here again, let's get into the news. Well, it's been a pretty good week for paleontology news, starting off with a new ichthyosaur paper that focuses on their early evolution that's revealed quite a lot about these marine reptiles. A new specimen of the early Triassic basal ichthyosauriform Sclerocormus from China has been described, revealing some key characteristics that actually prove it belongs to a grouping of marine reptiles called the Omphalosaurids. Omphalosaurids are a mysterious group of durophagus marine reptiles, meaning they're adapted to feeding on hard prey items by crushing them, from the early and the mid-Triassic, that actually had previously quite unclear taxonomic placement with paleontologists variously grouping them with rhynchosaurs, placodonts, or ichthyosaurs. Well, this new study performs a phylogenetic analysis that undoubtedly shows them to be grouped with the early ichthyosauriforms Sclerocormus and Carterhynchus, meaning the Omphalosaurids were actually another lineage of early diverging ichthyosaur relatives. Not only does this add to the picture of an explosive radiation of marine reptiles, and particularly ichthyosauriforms, right after the Permian-Triassic extinction, but the new specimen of Sclerocormus actually reveals more about how these reptiles fed, with sharp, pointed tips to the jaws that might even have had a turtle-like keratinous beak, and then very rounded and blunt teeth further back in the mouth which would have aided in crushing hard-shelled prey items. It's a fantastic discovery that adds a lot to our understanding of these amazing marine reptiles, and shows how diverse they were this soon after such a major mass extinction event. Another interesting paper published this week presents the first case of the use of AI to work out the creator of a fossil trackway. Deep Convolutional Neural Networks, or DCNNs, were applied to a fossil track found at Lark Quarry in Australia, specifically to a tridactyl track that has been the subject of a great deal of debate. Amazingly, this new approach was able to determine that the tracks were made by an Ornithischian dinosaur, not a theropod, as had been argued. The researchers say that this is only the first step in what will one day hopefully become a wider use for machine learning in the study of fossil footprints and other kinds of trace fossils, and also explain some of the limitations of this technique. Still though, it's exciting to think about how this approach can be applied in the future. Well, that's basically it for all the paleontology news this week. I hope you enjoyed learning about it, and we'll see you next week.